again in this uh, uh, segment of DH political theater, we are going to go to the twin Telugu states of uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, where we have our uh, man in Hyderabad, uh, J.S. Umanath on standby. Umana, tell us a little bit about what happened here. It's a very dramatic result, especially in the Andhra Assembly and in Andhra, where uh, Chandrababu Naidu has been wiped out by uh, Jagan. Tell us what worked and what did not uh, here. What worked for Jagan and why did Naidu do so badly? Uh, so it happened so uh, that Chandrav Naidu has started, uh, you know, his journey to rebuild uh, Andhra Pradesh, which was separated from uh, Telangana. And he got a mandate for five years and he was supposed to construct the capital, finish of major projects like Polavaram and other things like that. And uh, uh, Jagan uh, being a, a new entrant, uh, you know, uh, into the assembly in 2014, uh, he won uh, uh, the elections. Uh, he, he initially he was supporting the government but later on uh, he found out that things were not moving fast enough so he stopped attending the assembly even many of the, uh, the most of the MLAs of uh, uh, the, his party came out onto the streets and they were with the people most of the time that's where the real uh, you know uh, the victory of uh, Jagan has started and the, uh, yes, yes and his 360 days of uh, Pada Yatra, just like his father has done, he's brought him very close to the people. And other than that, Naidu's own follies, uh, like uh, most of his MLS are not close to the people. Uh, they were corrupt. They were uh, sand mining and other mining kind of illegal mining issues uh, that were rampant uh, all around. Uh, and, uh, you know, Chandrababu Naidu himself also, he was so bogged down with uh, uh, the capital and polarum issues and uh, non-cooperation by the BJP government from center. I think he his the distance between Naidu and the people have uh, grown, uh, you know, grown a lot. So uh, Chandrababu, of course, was very active on the uh, in in the mission to build a opposition, build an opposition to the Bharatiya Janata Party uh, centrally. He was seen as one of the nuclei around which uh, an opposition could build. Is this the end of his national ambitions? Is, is that it? End of the road? No, sir. As of uh, now, uh, just a few minutes ago, Chandrababu was speaking to press in Amaravati. Uh, he was. He still said he is not going to respond much on the issue, other than uh, wishing uh, Jagan, uh, you know, uh, good five years of time uh, in the seat. He said he has to look back why uh, the party has failed so badly, uh, but hasn't said anything about uh, you know his plans uh, uh, in Delhi. But the only thing is that he kind of. Losing 25 seats out of 25 uh, in the Lok Sabha means that TDP's presence is not there anymore in the Lok Sabha. And then uh, uh, on what basis uh, Naidu will go to Delhi and now uh, uh, talk to the other opposition parties is, uh, is really, you know, is, you know, difficult to understand. So, but uh, as we know about Ra Naidu, the generally never accepts defeat and uh, he might continue what he was doing right now. Right, and finally, the Pavan Kalyan factor uh, turned out to be a uh, non-starter again. Why, why was that? Uh, so, uh, just like you know, uh, Pavan Kalyan's uh, bigger brother Chiranjeevi started his Prajarajam party and later uh, you know, uh, joined uh, the Congress, uh, everybody thought that Kal Pavan Kalyan will suddenly uh, cut down the Kapu votes. Uh, and then maybe bring some victory as well as to Chandrababu Naidu, but it didn't happen uh, because in uh, at least in the beginning uh, he was equidistant from YSRCP and TDP. But uh, by the time uh, the elections have reached, now he was being blamed as a B, you know, party standby party for uh, TDP because he was criticizing more uh, on Jagan and rather than saying anything to Naidu. Maybe that uh, in that way that people might have seen him uh, close to Naidu and then uh, uh, whatever happened to Naidu happened to Pavan Kalan in that way. Okay, I think I'll just uh, sneak one last question in this one on Telangana. Can you analyze the results for us there? Uh, Telangana also said it's a major shocker to K. Chandrasekhar Rao because his daughter has uh, lost uh, Kalvakutla Kavita. She is a sitting MP in, in Nizamabad. Uh, where the turmeric farmers uh, were up against the government, particularly the center and also being the MP, the impact was on uh, uh, Kavita. They were demanding a turmeric board and uh, th these people have promised it and nothing has happened. So uh, that's another thing uh, that caused it. And then the, there is a revival of BJP and also Congress uh, in Telangana, which is in one way good for both the national parties. 
uh, and the TRS uh, as such now because KCR is staying away from uh, campaign there is nothing much he did like he did in assembly uh, you know uh, elections and uh, maybe it's because of the two elections are three because there was assembly early assembly elections there was this now parliament elections in between there was JP elections there is uh, local body elections and there is a long gap uh, of uh, six to seven months now uh, for, for the government and the people and that that might have cast him some votes now as of now uh, um, trs has only out of uh, you know 17 uh, they they could have been only nine and remaining all uh, like bjp and congress and uh, one mm has uh, has won it so that might have uh, the distance between people and kcr um, and uh, might have caused the loss Okay, we'll leave it at that. Uh, dramatic results from the twin Telugu-speaking states. Uh, stand by for more updates as they come along. Thank you.